Hello everyone, what is up? I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I just wanna briefly thank all of you guys, all of my subscribers, the new ones, the existing subscribers, you guys have been amazing with the liking, the commenting, and the sharing. It's really helping my videos to be seen and I appreciate that so much. It helps to get the message out and sort of share my unique brand of healing work and um, I'm just so proud to serve this community in the way that I am. So thank you so much again. Um, <clears throat> a quick announcement, I will be in New York City taking some clients from about January 21st through the 27th. On January 29th, which is a Tuesday, I'm also teaching a Reiki master class in Staten Island. So um, all of the links to book either one of those things, private sessions or the Reiki class, um, are on my website, which is www.imemilygear.com. Um, so please do check that out. The spaces are very much limited because I'm only there for a short time. And um, I look forward to seeing some of you there. Of course, I'm still taking phone and video um, appointments from people all over the world. So do feel free to schedule one of those as well. Um, so as promised, I'm back to do a reading about the what, what we can expect from the lunar eclipse in Leo coming up just after this weekend, okay? Um, because I keep getting a lot of different message about, messages about it, and it really does seem like it's going to impact us in an important way. Um, so I wanted to see, because I use tarot, we are going to be using tarot here today, but to kind of evaluate the energies that may be coming through for us, okay? Um, and I've written down a couple questions. Um, I think what I want to do first is let's get grounded and centered here. And so let's share a little bit of energy healing for you today before we get started. If you don't want this energy healing, um, you can skip forward. Feel free to do that. However, if you are that anxious to get the tarot messages, I suggest that you may need this energy healing, okay? So hang on. Um, <clears throat> so take just a couple deep breaths. And let's just picture your energy um, in your heart space beginning to grow a little bit with each breath in. And just allow it to open up as far as it's covering up your entire torso. And then allow it to expand the size of the room that you're in. And then just go ahead and allow it to expand to the size of the building that you're in. And then your entire city. In your entire country. And then the entire planet. Then I want you to see a stream of energy light coming out of your heart space and going straight down your back and out your tailbone. And just cutting into the surface of the planet and darting straight down into the center of the earth where it sort of drops into the molten core of the earth. Just kind of feel that energetic pull for a minute on your energy. And then I'd like you to feel that energy bounce back up the same way it came and connect back into your heart space. And then next we're going to take the same stream of energy and we're going to shoot it up through our neck and out the tip top of our heads. And go ahead and take it all the way up into the sky. And we're going to start cutting through dimensions now. We're going to cut through the third 
and the fourth and the fifth dimensions. We're going to keep going through the sixth and the seventh. And we're going to allow it to cut through as many dimensions as we possibly can up to the place where we feel comfortable and we're just seeing a bright white light. And there's no other beings around, just this one light that just encompasses everything. Your individual being disappears at this level. You are part of this white light and the white light is part of you. And I want you to anchor your energy in that white light and just allow it to penetrate your entire being. Okay, now we're gonna come back down into our bodies and we're gonna take that white light with us. We're just gonna take it through the same channel we built going up there and take it right back down and anchor it into our heart space now. And that's your direct channel to the divine. We're all that is, or the all power, the all being, the all creative, whatever it is you want to think of it as. And now I'm going to ask your permission to go up myself and ask the creator to send you unconditional love and total a mental, a mental, emotional physical and spiritual healing now for your highest and best good with grace and ease. And if you would like that, just say yes to yourself right now. And I'm going to go on up there and it's going to be sent down immediately to all of you who have said yes. And if you felt that, I would love it if you would share your experience uh, in the comment section just to help solidify the healing um, because uh, it allows you to witness it in that way, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for doing that with me. Now let's go ahead and get to the cards. If you just saw all of those bruises on my arms, that's from jujitsu, don't worry. <laughs> I do martial arts several times a week and it gets a little, little hairy. Um, Okay, so my first question for the cards is, what can we expect from this lunar eclipse in Leo that's coming up after this weekend? What can we expect from this lunar eclipse in Leo that's coming up after this weekend? And indeed, any of the energies that come with it before and after. What can the collective expect from this lunar eclipse in Leo? Let's see what this first, oh goodness. This is interesting. Um, the bottom of the deck right now is the Seven of Swords, okay? So I feel like certain things are going to be coming to light that have been hidden up until this point, and they've been hidden for a very good reason. It's almost like I'm getting the feeling like if we really knew all the pieces of the puzzle, we would either panic or we would try to take control of it or something, and we would totally mess it up is kind of like the feeling I'm getting, which is funny because that's probably true <laughs> at least for me so the first card that came out here was the ten of pentacles and we're just using the regular um, universal weight deck today so the ten of pentacles came out with the emperor and the eight of pentacles and so the feeling I'm getting is that um, for many people this is going to be like 
a real filling out of whatever you have been working on this past whole past year since all the eclipses last year took place. Sorry, my throat's killing me. Um, this, this message is obviously for us who have been on this path for a while. Um, and so I do feel, I am definitely getting um, the message for our divine masculine halves, like the half of us in our masculine energy, which also then um, equates to our divine counterparts or compliments if that is a situation that we are dealing with. Um, but this certainly has to do with our own masculine half um, in our own energy. And really, that really coming into its own power um, because it's coming up here with this Ten of Pentacles here, very stable energy, very um, legacy oriented. So I, I kind of feel like this is what you have been working on and trying to manifest for the last year. And this is kind of the gateway into um, the, the fullness of that legacy, the fullness of that mission the fullness of um, whatever you know relationships you've been working on manifesting or repairing or whatever uh, whatever business or job or creative venture or whatever it is that you've been working on manifesting in a very um, structured and powerful sense okay there are opportunities coming up that are going to set you kind of set you on your course at this time okay that's what I just heard is being set on your course. So this is going to involve different opportunities coming up and you will need to make the, take the um, initiative, take control of the situation to, to walk in, walk through these doorways or accept these opportunities. I do feel lots of opportunities coming up. Um, it could be because Jupiter is transiting Sagittarius as I talked about in another video and in that i just feel there are so many opportunities coming up which are so like full of potential and so lucky and so um full of fire energy you know like that really positive go-getting and um serendipitous type energy okay so we want to go ahead and um and grab those as they come up and they will be coming up for each and every one of you in some way. All right. Let's see what else is going to come out. These tried to come out here. Okay. There are going to be some people who, um, if part of their... Um, if part of their journey right now is removing themselves from a karmic situation or from a situation which has not been serving them. So this could be, you know, a business, it could be a job, it could be a relationship. Um, for many people, it is a relationship because we are, I am seeing the three of swords here. Um, this is a situation where you will, you will be making, taking the initiative to make a choice, okay? You will be deciding what it is that is um, serving you. And though it may be difficult to make this choice, um, I do feel with the Magician appearing here with the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords that you are making the choice to leave those um, damaging or not fulfilling type relationships, situations behind. Uh, I'm also getting a very strong message about people dealing with addictions right now that um, there is there is a need like I'm always talking about but again we're talking about Leo in the heart okay there is a need to heal the heart wounds that are creating the addictive behavior okay so if you're dealing with an addiction or if somebody you love or know is dealing with an addiction that does need to be addressed. With a magician coming up, I do feel like this is being addressed with intent, 
okay? So I almost feel like if you set your intention to heal and clear those wounds um, at the time of this eclipse and, um, and moon, um, that you will make some really um, profound progress in clearing those wounds. The other day, and they were showing me this again, that, you know, it's almost like we have these very old wounds in our heart which have festered and become infected, okay? And they're kind of showing me like burning out the infection and closing the wounds up. So it's like that is going to be necessary in order to, um, in order to really profoundly move forward with this kind of um, legacy type energy, okay? It's really time. The energies are right for you be, to be able to do this in a, um, in a, what's the word I'm looking for? in a way that stays. So like, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean? Like, um, you'll be able to complete the process. You won't go back from it. And I'm not sure why that's the case. I'm hearing something about Pisces. So it's got to do something about whatever planet is in Pisces or Neptune or something, maybe Pisces because Neptune or wherever Neptune is. So I don't know if you're into that, look it up. Maybe it will um, give you a little more information, but apparently, that position is going to help people deal with addictions right now. So I don't, that was a very specific message for somebody who's dealing with addictive behavior, but um, it is the time, the time is right to do it, not only for yourself um, and for your mission going forward, but because the universe is really supporting that right now. Okay, let's see what else comes up. Okay, whoever has been holding on to these same kind of addictive behaviors um, and um, relationships and situations that are no longer serving them, they, whoever's been holding on to them, I feel like they are starting to cut them away, okay? Or not even starting, they're well in the process. Gosh, this light is not showing my cards. It's really annoying. I've got to figure something out with this light. So they're well into the process, okay? I do feel like most of this is relationship oriented or has something to do with a relationship or a divine compliment, okay? Um, I believe they are seeing their situation very differently now. So however they were seeing it that was keeping them stuck, they're seeing it very differently now from a different perspective, a different angle. And there's this recognition and realization, God, you can't see these cards at all, of um, what fulfills them, okay? So if this is you, and I know that this is a lot of my clients just because of you know all the, the um, work that I'm doing with them, um, I do feel that I don't wanna promise like huge breakthroughs in like action in the 3D world. It could totally happen. I don't want to say that it isn't. I just don't want to promise it. But there is this major shift in the perception of um, their situation and how they view their, their um, earlier situation and how they view their new situation or you know, not their new situation, but how they see themselves being fulfilled in the future. Okay, so they are now seeing this sort of devil karmic energy um, as being something that has been holding them back and they are well into the process of removing that energy. Let's see what else comes up here. What do we expect from this lunar eclipse in Leo? Okay, I think that certain things that have been hidden, we've got the Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords again, that was on the bottom of the deck before, with the Page of Swords. I do feel that um, 
there's like all this uncertain energy, this like very, I don't want to say immature, like the person's immature, but I mean like undeveloped potential, undeveloped energy. Um, and like this desire to communicate or this desire to make an offer, but like just no movement there for so long. I do think that some of that intent, some of what is behind that is going to be coming to light. And I do believe it has to do in many situations with this devil energy, this energy of what's, what's been holding people back. Um, and they're shifting in perspective. I do think that there is a chance that it will be communicated. The situation will be communicated to you with the um, page of swords. Um, that does not necessarily mean absolutely, but there is definitely a chance. And um, I feel this sense of inevitability at this point, like whatever has been hidden is inevitably coming out. Um, and that's a positive thing. This should not, I know those words probably sound really threatening. This is, I feel like for the people who are listening to this, that this is a positive thing. It probably involves the changed perspective of um, a divine compliment or something like that. Okay. Um, so that's very positive. Um, I feel like I'm getting a lot of repeat messages. I'm actually going to grab another deck because sometimes I find that my decks get stalled on a specific message, as weird as that might sound. So I'm going to use this other deck. Let me just clear it really quickly. It's probably not normal to sit there hunched over. All right, so I would like to ask on a broader scale, on the scale of the collective, on the scale of the universe, what else is coming in for us at the time of this eclipse? And full moon, right? Is it a full moon? Remember. On a broader scale, what else is coming in for us at the time of this eclipse? Actually, I want to change that question. I want to say, what shifts will we be experienced? Will we be experiencing through this eclipse energy? What shifts will we be experiencing through this eclipse energy? Oh, geez. I'm really getting the sense here. I have the Five of Cups with the Emperor and the King of Swords. So I'm very much getting the sense here that um, there is a, a taking responsibility for and control over um, our own emotions and our own triggering. Um, so I feel like it's almost a leveling up in the emotions department, okay? It's, it's a little bit... Um, it's kind of similar to this heart healing that I keep talking about because it's a wounded heart and the wounding in the emotional center that um, creates so much of the triggering that we go through. And this to me is like a real mastery of that and the healing of those wounds so that we can move forward in another, like on another trajectory, not into the one that's straight back into more emotional wounding and triggering and like, you know, chaos and disorder. This is on a much higher timeline, a better, um, I'm just sort of seeing these like, these timelines that are going like this. I don't, I don't even know why they're doing this, but they're doing this. And um, it makes me think of almost like an arrow being shot into the sky and it um, going much farther faster because it's not 
laden with this emotional baggage. Um, and I feel like there's some clarity coming in about some of the struggles we've been experiencing and what that really means. Um, the places where we felt like or we thought we were in a stable situation and we're realizing the potential is much higher. And so we're moving away from this. This to me right now at the second represents the 3D reality, the four corners of a house. You know what I mean? It's like it's like stable, secure um, 3D reality. And it's it's that we are now sort of departing from that and um, departing from this kind of struggle on this plane in favor of greater clarity and truth. Um, let's see, what other kind of energetic shifts is the collective experiencing on a broader scale? What an energetic uh, shifts is the collective experiencing on a broader scale? I got the Prince of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. And I'm going to say that to me, this, this to me is like the stubborn heart awakening, okay? This is like people who have been like doggedly holding on to 3D, um, partially because it may be all they know, partially it may be because this is the source of their... Um, their past abundance and their um, their stability. This is all that they know, right? Um, particularly when looking at this uh, Prince card, I feel that way. But this is like the overflowing and opening of that so that we can, those people, especially the people who have been very stubbornly holding on to this 3D paradigm, can then um, not only master the physical world exist in the 3D, but ground it all in and um, transcend. I'm hearing transcend the 3D while still being grounded in it, if that makes sense. So I do feel like, especially for the masculine collective and our masculine sides, that there is a new grounding of this um, heart awakening type energy. So I'm feeling like there is new potential right now for a lot of takeoff in different businesses as long as you're in your integrity. As long as these are businesses and creative projects that are 100% in your integrity and aligned with your soul's mission, aligned with your um, spiritual truth, all that kind of business. So if you've been on this path, you're, tr path, you're trying to do that anyway. Um, I do feel that some of like I said, these are people who may have been um, resistant to that in the recent past, and they are now um, fully opening uh, their energy to this grounding of the higher uh, energies. They're receiving what they were to be given by birthright, and they had blocked because of a fear of moving forward in their incarnation. They were afraid to lose what they thought they had gained. And yet at this time, they realized that they have not gained all that they thought they had, that there is far more available to humanity through the opening of the heart chakra and the opening of the crown chakra and the connection to the divine, whatever they may call that. It is through this connection that one experiences a spiritual awakening and therefore connects with all that is. It is a, a broadening of the perspective of what is available or what is possible in a human existence because the existence is not of one human, it is for the, entire, the entirety of existence. 
the entirety of creation. It does not even calibrate on Earth, it's, they're saying. It does not even calibrate on Earth, whatever that means. Um, this includes existence beyond your comprehension. And so you are part, you are one of a part. No, what are you guys saying? You are part of a whole which expands beyond your comprehension. Okay, so I'm losing, I'm gonna stop now because I'm losing the, the channeling. Um, no, they're gonna keep going. What do they wanna say now? I'm not clear what they're going at. If your existence is like a, a rider on a horse trampling the ground, dashing into the distance, and this is all that you know, then this is the fastest, the most you can experience in one lifetime. If your existence extends into each blade of grass, into every forest, tree, and animal, then this expands your experience of being sentient and a spiritual creation. All right, none of that was super deep. I don't know why they wanted to go on with that. Um, okay, I probably shouldn't judge my own channeling, so we're just gonna get like, <laughs> they're just gonna stop if I'm not grateful for them, right? So, um, so take that as you will. I feel like this is a call to oneness as we have been hearing for a very long time. It's a call to, they're saying it's a call to expansion and it's a call to, um, to greater, to a release of boundaries and greater horizons in our spiritual and emotional lives. They want to see our crown chakras wide open and they want to see us connected firmly with all that is, okay? So to me, that equals the divine. Um, so whatever that is for you, I do not want to color it with my own belief system because I don't want Okay, guys, I'm really sorry about that. My um, iPad just stopped working, so I'm going to take that as stop the channel message um or somebody didn't want me to channel that message or that damn thing just stopped working and it doesn't have anything to do with anything so in any case i'm gonna go ahead and i'm sorry this video is such a train wreck right now i'm gonna go ahead and splice them together later but let me just continue with this reading um so we can finish it up let's see so the next question is, now that I've completely lost the rest of that channeling, is um, what is the advice for navigating the energies coming up? Okay, so let's go ahead and pull these cards here. What's the advice? I'm sorry, I'm just checking to make sure it's going to process. Okay, what's the advice for navigating the energies coming up through the eclipse? What's the advice for navigating the energies? Wow, okay. Um, so I've got the Princess of Wands with the Ace of Wands. These two I often feel are very similar in energy. And then the Ten of Cups with the Alchemist, which in this deck is the same as the um, Magician. So some really powerful cards here. And um, I feel that this is about, I feel that this is about um, having no fear to take the steps necessary in order to um, create the life that you know will fulfill you. So this is really about leaving behind the fear that we have been um, stuck in for so many months, years, etc. Um, I think that we're going to be stepping into a new 
a cycle of creating this kind of fulfillment. I do feel that this also, um, this could be, this is relating back to those of us who have been working on this for a while, but I do also feel that many, many, many more people are going to be starting a spiritual journey at this time, okay? So um, I feel that, yeah, because with the Princess of Wands here, this is like the beginning of that awakening process. Um, this is also coming through kind of like a guide right now. So it's almost like be prepared to assist in guiding people and how to... Uh, learn to manage all of the elements okay basically helping people who are confused and don't know what's happening to them um and making sure to keep them focused on their um their fulfillment and i'm just hearing to remind them to focus on joy love and compassion that all of those things are necessary at this time um, to keep them on track and to reset the energy so that they are integrating the positive the light with with the dark but they're focusing on the light instead of realigning themselves instead of aligning themselves with the negative energy of confusion or frustration or fear okay it's choosing love over fear and assisting them in that process yeah this is coming in quickly lots of energy coming in quickly um, and that we should not be afraid to um, communicate about this, uh, this awakening process and what it looks like and what it feels like. There's a degree of vulnerability we'll have to step into in order to do that because it's easy to say to think you're crazy or to look, think that you look crazy or be embarrassed or whatever, but we need to um, not worry about that. All right, my next question is, what is, uh, or I'm sorry, how is our reality shifting at this time? How is our reality shifting at this time? And I guess this is people who are aligning with, with me, with my readings, because everybody has an infinite number of possible realities, okay? Every single person, and you're selecting and reselecting for timelines multiple times a day, um, second by second even um you can read the book quantum jumps it's very interesting i forget who's the author all right so how is our reality shifting at this time what just popped out was the king of wands and so for me that's about like becoming truly empowered and um, truly authoring our own destiny and or at the same time surrendering into our destiny and our power coming to us through that, through being what, um, through aligning, that's what it is, through aligning with our uh, purpose. How is our reality shifting at this time? The Empress. Okay. I've got the feeling of it. Now let me find the words. This, okay, so these are almost, you you want almost say like this is, to me the King of Wands is like the slightly minor version of the Emperor. They just feel very similar to me. And here is the Empress. So it's almost like 
this is your masculine and feminine balance, um, particularly for the feminine archetype, simply because the feminine is showing up in greater, greater strength here. Um, but the King of Wands is not to be fucked with. Like he is definitely not out of his power. But anyway, I'm, I digress. What I am meaning to say is that it's almost like by surrendering to and being in the flow of um, your purpose, you then step into your power. It's almost like the perfect balance of opposites because you surrender into this um, you surrender into this um, alignment and therefore step into your greatest power, if that makes sense, okay? So I feel that that is the, that is the shift we're making, um, and that goes for people who have been doing this for a long time and people who are just waking up, because there are a lot of people who are just waking up right now, um, and they are going to require help from different uh, from different individuals certain cycles are definitely ending at this time okay so be prepared to leave behind the things that have been holding you back and this sounds like an obvious but um, not everybody wants to do that peeking out behind it is the nine of cups so this is bringing you to wish fulfillment there are actually other cards behind the ten um, but that one was the one that was actually peeking out um, and so I'm trying to get an idea, because this has come up, I feel like, what is it that we're trying to release here? And we've got the, um, we've got the four of pentacles. So this is actually releasing those things that are sort of subpar that we keep holding on to, all right? We could attract in so much more if we would allow ourselves to release that which is no longer serving us. Two... The Queen of Pentacles is here, and I feel like this is a lack of self-worth. The Queen of Pentacles knows her worth, right? So um, this is like releasing the idea that we don't deserve all of the abundance and all of the, um, the uh, flow that happens when you truly align. Um, next is judgment, and this to me is renewal and awakening, and this is like releasing control and allowing this to happen, okay? And finally, the hanged man. This to me is, um, in this situation, I feel this is releasing that victim mentality and stop thinking that all the things that are happening as a process of judgment, right, as a process of the awakening and a process of um, the reckoning and kind of renewal of your life, this means certain things will be falling away, all right? Certain things are going to be ending, and yet you cannot see yourself as a victim. Life is, okay, so they're saying life is happening for you, not to you. Um, so it's important to remember that whether you are in this kind of empowered space during this time, or whether you are a brand new initiate of this awakening process, okay? Um, just support each other. That is what's so important and what's really coming through for me right now. Um, so a lot of things are shifting for a lot of people. I'm going to go ahead and end it there because we're probably at about 45 minutes at this point. So I hope that this was helpful. Please let me know. I really apologize for the break in the, um, in the recording. And um, I would love to ask you to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.